hi there welcome back to my channel i hope everybody is fine so i am back with another video in today's video i wanted to talk about making friends in italy and why making friends in italy can be a little bit challenging now this might be applicable for also other countries as well i think at the end of the day moving to another country comes with its own complexities and you know comes with just a lot of different things and in some countries it's a lot easier for you to make friends and for you to make connections in other countries it might be a little bit difficult for you to make those connections so yeah and let's just talk about Italy I think this would be interesting for people who want to move to Italy or people who are already here and are kind of finding it hard a little bit to make friends now I have been in Italy let's just talk about me okay I have been in Italy for quite a while so I basically did three years of high school in Italy went on to do my undergrad did my masters and now I I'm working in Italy so pretty much I've been living in Italy for a very long time and even though and even though I've been here for a very long time I would say it hasn't been easy for me to make friends you know it hasn't been easy for me to make friends because one I am quite different from everybody else that is not to say that I do not have friends I do have friends and uh, but then it was really really hard for me to make friends the number one thing I found um, as a challenge when I first came to Italy because when I first came to Italy I was in my teens and I think it's a lot easier when you are um, kind of like young you make friends a little bit easier when you are older it's very difficult for you to make friends because now all your senses are just you know very sharp and you're just looking out for so many things and you know it's just a little bit complicated to make friends when you are a little bit older like I said I was in my teens when I came to Italy and it wasn't easy for me to make friends number one that was because all the friendship groups had already been formed Italian high school is five years so I joined in the third year right I joined in the third year and so pretty much every like all the groups had been formed I just couldn't you know make friends because I mean how was I going to make friends if they had already been formed but this is a concept that happens a lot in Italy Italians grow up together they're born in one neighborhood or they're born in one city or one town and they literally grow up in that same area you know for other countries for example you know people are used to moving people are used to maybe staying in a place for a year staying in a place for two years and then moving on to another place so there's a lot of movements going on and that allows you to make you know new friends you know as you go along the way in Italy a person may be born in one town and the person would grow up in the same town probably get married and live next to their family members or live next to their parents or build a house next to their parents in the same place so you realize that when you grow up in one neighborhood and you grow up there you do everything there the same friends that you have whilst you were growing up are the same friends that you hold on to whilst you you know whilst you grow and so it leaves no room literally for other people to to join or to just come in the mix and it's not just for the person who is wanting to make friends but for all the other people who also live in the same neighborhood the experience is pretty much the same and so every single person is literally growing up in the same place you know seeing themselves and going to the same elementary school going to the same middle school going to the same high school probably in university everybody would just split up but then they still come back together and that is you know the social network that is just how the friendship groups are made so you know don't think about entering into social groups because those ones have already been formed I would advise that you you think about you know individual networking and through the individual networking you might be introduced into other friendship groups but essentially the friendship groups are really really tight family bonds are tight friendship bonds are tight and so it kind of leaves no room for you know 
outsiders to come in and just enter into those groups like that another thing would be the cultural differences i think as compared to other countries italy is a really really laid back chilled type of country but the people are also very very reserved i like to think that people from the united states or people from the uk canada all these other countries and also some parts of european countries for example portugal spain they tend to be a little bit open like they tend to be very very laid back they tend to be especially americans tend to be very very chatty and I think also people from the UK as well tend to be a little bit chatty. Everybody is their friend, everybody is their bestie, everybody is, you know, like best friends forever type of vibe. Whereas in Italy, it's not like that. In Italy, you literally have to earn people's trust, okay? You have to earn people's trust for them to call you their friend or for, you, for them to invite you into their, so, their social circle. So that dynamics can be a little bit different. You can't just go into any bar, you can't just go walk around and just see somebody and have a chat and automatically that person becomes your friend. No, you really have to build that relationship that is the word you have to build relationships in Italy because like I said they stick to what they know and an outsider has to earn their trust for them to kind of warm up to you and maybe invite you over or do something different with you also how people are introduced into family or how people are introduced into social groups is through family gatherings through friendship gatherings and stuff like that so you end up realizing that new people are introduced by family members so there's already that trust over there and also friends uh, are being introduced or new people are being introduced by friends as well so there's that kind of trust in there where it's like okay they wouldn't invite you into other spaces if they don't trust you right so it's all about loyalty it's all about trust and you have to build it like you have to literally build it because that is just how it is you just don't make friends by just greeting the person once or twice and just being familiar with the person once or twice it has to be something extra for you to become you know friends with these uh, with italians another thing i believe is a factor for why making friends in Italy can be very difficult is the language barrier. The language barrier is a thing. It is a huge, a huge influence because you know it's one thing when you are able to connect with people because you're able to speak the language, right? Everything just really flows, everything is just okay. But when there is a language barrier and when you're not able to understand people, how can you connect when you're not able to communicate in you know a common language um italy people speak italian and i know some people would always say yeah but in italy people don't speak english and blah 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 and it kind of seems as if they're supposed to speak english no you know <laughs> no italy is italy and it's uh, italians are going to speak italian and they're not really they're not even going to bother about learning english because that is them the english being taught in school is quite questionable because it's not even a lot of hours it's literally like two hours a week or maybe three not even three but it's probably like two hours a week or so so it's not really sufficient right and people don't end up you know growing up with the english language for example all the programs all the tv programs that are in english are not subtitled they are literally dubbed so it's not as if people are accustomed to hearing english for them to now be able to you know pick up the language and have conversations with you and be familiar with english you know it it, does, it just doesn't work like that italy if you don't understand italian that can be a struggle unless you're with people who also speak english but nine times out of ten not a lot of people speak speak english and so you would have to make the effort to learn the language italian is difficult italian is difficult but i think everything is you know learnable you can learn everything everything is achievable including learning a new language that is something that can very easily be done i mean easily Mm, not easily but i think you have to make the effort if you want to make friends in italy try learning the language try learning the language and i think italians appreciate it 
if you you know they see that you're learning the language even if you're a foreigner the fact that you're trying to learn the language opens a lot of doors for you to make these connections and of course you can't stay in a country where you don't understand the language and how are you going to integrate how are you going to form all these connections how are you going to connect with people how are you going to grow how are you going to evolve how are you going to learn new things you have to learn the language and, and in as much as it's difficult you have to be able to do that forget about being in the midst of all these expat groups and all these other groups and being in your own circle i think when you go out there and you explore and you just you know challenge yourself to actually live in in the space that you're in and you know learning the language and being around the people the locals it makes the experience a little bit easier and trust me italians are really really nice people but then if you don't know the language and you're not able to communicate with them it can be a little bit stressful because you know who are you going to chat with and you end up becoming a loner you end up becoming just literally staying at home or just literally doing things by yourself and that can be a little bit of it's it's a sad thing because Italians love to go out a lot. Italians love to go out a lot. Just you know, sit out, just chat, just go for a walk, just go for an aperitivo, just do something. They really love to go out a lot. And when you really speak the language, then you know that you're going to be invited into these things. You know that you're also going to be able to invite other people over and have a very nice conversation and just be there and be all vibey and just you know chat your way but then i think the language is one thing that you should learn especially if you want to make friends in italy like the language is key okay social etiquette also allows people to be drawn to you or to be drawn away from you so how you treat other people how you portray yourself how you move how you speak how you you know interact with other people warms people up to you um italians appreciate a lot of politeness so be polite as much as you can be friendly don't be rude don't be you know don't don't be pretentious just 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 be polite just be polite just be well mannered and people are going to warm up to you i think one thing one thing that italians hate is people coming in and trying to make their country seem like it's a terrible country or making their country seem you know less than it's like they know right italians know but then it's like somebody else is not allowed to speak about it it's like for example i know my home is bad okay I am allowed to talk about my home however I want to talk about it but another person don't disrespect me do not disrespect me and talk about my home you're not allowed and it's the same kind of concept be polite even if you have something to say okay be polite about it be polite about it and just be well mannered just have the social etiquette because italians take that really really seriously people who are well behaved people of course you would have people that are just all over the place but italians tend to have a lot of decorum they tend to have a lot of decorum and so i think that is something that is really really appreciated when you know somebody is not very rowdy and it's not you know jumpy and it's just not all over the place but you know has a certain kind of um, social etiquette. It's just appreciated and people warm up to you quite easily. So I would say yes, but I think if you're older, you basically have that already, right? If you're older, you know what to move and how to move and you know, you just basically know what is right and what is wrong. So just do what is right and yeah, that will come in your favor. Now, let's talk about lifestyle differences. Lifestyle differences is a thing, okay? And you really have to learn to adapt to these lifestyle differences. Italy is not a country that is on the go, like 24 seven. It's not like London, it's not like New York, it's not like all these fast paced countries. It's a very chilled country. So if you want to in integrate, and if you want to be a part of the you know, community and whatever it is, you have to adapt to 
to the local rhythm because that would actually help a lot Italians tend to go for lunch breaks they tend to go for breakfast at the bar they tend to go for aperitivo just doing these things okay just being part of these things allows you to integrate more with the locals and to build a certain type of relationship it might not be a very deep relationship but it might be something it, it's a, it's a door for you to make that connection so being able to do those things that Italians would normally do on their normal day to day life gives you more chance to be able to you know integrate and make friends as well go out for breakfast just sit at the bar just just stand at the bar and have breakfast and then you might have a little you know chat with the bartender with somebody and uh, just have an aperitivo and that also opens door for you like you don't necessarily have to wait for people to invite you you can also be the person inviting other people because that is how it works in Italy in Italy it's not really about oh all of us are going to this place let's all jump to it no it's about making all these tiny tiny little you know changes because that is just how it is people just go to the bar in the morning sit there you no, just chat just have coffee sit there for like five minutes and go about their daily life there's a long lunch okay let's just go to the bar have something chat just watch people move around just just have these tiny tiny interactions here and there open small doors for you to you know make friends if you stay at home you're not going to make friends because friends do not come knocking at your doorstep you have to make the move as well so try integrating as much as possible if you don't have friends here in Italy you have to create those friends and it would come with them inviting you you inviting them you know it costs really nothing you don't really have to invite people over to your place but just normal let's go and have aperitivo that is fine it doesn't even have to be dinner it's just you know just let's go for a walk because Italians are really, really active people and everybody I know okay doesn't stay home you know the entire day people love to go out for a walk because it's a really really nice country and everything is just really nice and people love to appreciate nature people love to do things by themselves people love to walk people love to run people love to just sit down and watch other people you know move and stuff like that so if you're able to you know be a part of these little things be a part of these lifestyle and um, you know situation in Italy it opens a lot of more doors for you all of these things that I have said right it's relating to more of a very small neighborhoods and small towns and cities it can be very easy for you to make friends in bigger cities for example Milan okay because in Milan nobody is from Milan like nobody is really from Milan like yes there are people who are originally from Milan and maybe their parents are from Milan and stuff like that but Milan is one of those cities where everybody is just from everywhere right so there it's like nobody is really tied to these friendship groups because everybody is literally from everywhere yes some groups might have been formed already but it's a lot more easier for you to make friends than in all these other the small cities and towns that is located around there it can be a little bit difficult but then again like I said if you want to make friends in Italy you have to actually go and make those friends do not expect them to come to you you have to make those friends and yeah from my experiences it had always been difficult for me to make friends because of course there's one thing which is literally how I looked and also the fact that I'm a very reserved person so I really did not feel like going into these social circles at the end of the day I think it's about you at the end of the day it's about you making those groups if you want to make friends in Italy they're not going to come to you you have to form those groups and those friends are going to be meaningful friends I think one thing I find about Italy is that people or friends are quite meaningful like it's not a very it's it's not the superficial type of friends people who become your friends 
they stick beside you they really really stick their neck out for you and I don't know I think that is just an Italian thing where they just go all out for you and that is why you have to work your way towards that it just doesn't come easy for you to make those friends right so yeah that is something for you do an activity go somewhere just join some kind of club just join something do something go for a walk when you meet people try to have an interaction with them and those things are going to help you make friends and of course if you have other people who can also connect you to other things that is fine but at the end of the day you have to live like a local you have to go to the bar go to the supermarket try to make conversations don't make conversations that are not meaningful try to make conversations that are quite interesting polite kind of conversations whilst maintaining the respect you know because like i said it's very very important but yeah i think at the end of the day it's the same for everywhere some places have it a lot more difficult than others others not and italy is a pretty much conservative country everything is very much traditional like things here are very traditional and people will stick to the things they know but if you want to go out there and create connections then it has to come from you you have to create those you have to learn the language you have to go outside and do things you have to invite people and then people would also bring you into their circle as well so yeah that is pretty much it if you want to learn anything else if you want to know more things about me living in Italy about what life is like living in Italy what is the work-life situation in Italy just let me know and I'll try to do some videos if you want me to also talk about my experiences and um, living in Italy I would gladly do so so let me know and thank you all for being with me and I'll see you guys in my next video bye